everyone, it's Brittany Baylin, and today you're going to be getting ready with me. I'm going to the boy premiere. I'm very excited about it because I love thrillers, and it has kind of inspired me to do this like vixen, vampy look. It's kind of going to be, I think, like my last tutorial, except for this one's going to be very glossy. I want to keep this one very shimmery and shiny, and that's how it's going to be different, I swear. <laughs> For this video, I teamed up with Clinique, so all the products are going to be Clinique. It's going to be like one brand makeup tutorial. I'm kind of really into this idea, and if you have any suggestions for any other one brand makeup tutorials you'd like to see, leave it in the comments down below. I don't want to make this intro too long, so let's just hop into it. To start off the look, I'm going to be using the Clinique Pep Start, and this is just an eye cream, and it will help brighten and hydrate my eyes so I don't get the really gross, flaky eye stuff I can get. So I'm just dabbing that on or below my eye and then working that in, being very gentle and taking that above. We are going to be doing eyebrows, then eyes, then face, and then lips. So you have a rough idea of how this tutorial is laid out. For eyebrows, I am using the Clinique Super Fine Liner for brows, and the color I have is number two, Soft Brown. Going to concentrate the product on the outside of the brows. That's where I'm most lacking. And just making sure I have that arch. Look how lacking that is. That's not good. To finish off the brows, I am using a brow gel, and I'm using the colors light brown and then deep brown on the outside. So it's going to be a bit of an ombre, but nothing too crazy because it's just a brow gel. Concentrating the lighter color on the front, going to work that in. With the darker color on the arch is where it will start and bringing it down. Now that you have some Aria eyebrows, I am going to use the Clinique Lid Smoothie in number two, Cashew Leather, or later, Cashew Later. Almost got that right. I'm going to use this to prime my eyes and give a nice shimmery base. I'm going to take this all over my lid and up to the Aria brows. Next up, using the Cheek Pop in Nude Pop, I'm going to use this in my crease to give a warm kind of blending color for the eyes. Just going to set this in my crease in back and forth motions. You see it just slightly warms up the crease and primes it for some badass eyeshadow. Next, using the dark brown color Cocoa Pop, I'm going to apply this all over my lid as a good base. Just put this all over your lid up to the crease. To line my tight line and water line, I'm going to use the quick liner for Eyes Intense. This one is so glossy and black, I'm obsessed. I'm also going to line my lash line with this, but can we just like have a moment here? Like, yes. Okay, we had a moment. Super creepy, but look at this. So obsessed. So, ob oh, but I messed up, but that's okay. So black. I think this is my new ultimate liner. Tight line. And look super crazy. Like you're gonna kill someone. Like I said, we're going to put this on the top lash line and then blend out. Just line, this is nappy perfect. We're going to blend out with the back of the pencil. Take the back and blend. Just wipe back and forth. Once you have completely blended out the liner, I'm going to use the Precision Extreme Felt Tip Liner to really get in to the very close to the lash line and really define that, but make sure to keep this like very smoked. Just lay the felt tip flat and get really into the lash line. And this will just help to define the lash line a little bit more. 
but also keeping the smoke effect. Using that same brown shadow, I'm going to take this on my lower lash line and blend out the eyeliner that we have put on. I'm going to connect it to the top shadow and only bring it to right below my pupil because we're going to be putting a gold eyeshadow here that shimmers. I'm going to be using the Morning Java Quad and I'm going to be using the gold color from there to pop right in where there is no shadow. So where the brown stops and to the inner corner of the bottom lash line. See that? For mascara, I'm using the High Impact Curling Mascara and I'm just going to apply probably two or three coats. Just wiggling back and forth and this brush will really help you get a good curl because I don't know if you can see but it has curled itself and I put this on my top and my bottoms. You can really see the difference it gives. This has mascara on the top, this one do not. Mascara, game changer. Eyes are pretty much done. We might come back and tweak it a little bit, but let's move on to the face. I'm going to use the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel to moisturize my skin. And always take down to your neck. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer, but I'm just going to be taking this underneath my eyes. Going in motion like a triangle and sides of my nose. That's where we're hidden. I also placed the concealer on the high points of my face and now I'm going to take this really cool brush that I'm trying out and just buff that into the skin gently and I'm obsessed with this brush. Alright guys, so this, this little thing, this foundation concealer worked so well, I'm not even going to use another foundation on top of it. Like it really is a foundation and concealer in one. I am, God, that is really nice. Look at the skin. Just look at it. For contouring, I'm going to use the Curvy Contour in shade number one, Chubby Stick, and it's really simple. I'm just going to, just gonna make one of these and super, super simple. Same brush, work that into the skin. Seriously, truck. To set everything, I'm going to be using the Invisible Blend Face Powder and just patting this all over my face. Actually, let's bake underneath my eyes. So for baking, if you don't know, I'm just going to put extra powder there and brush that off once it sets. When my face is baking, I'm going to go in with this same blush and nude pop that we went into the crease and just throw this on my cheeks. While my face is still baking, I'm going to move on to the lips and I'm super excited about the lips because I love colors like this. And Clinique just came out with a new pop lacquer and the color I have is Peace Pop and I'm going to use this with the shade Intense Licorice to line. With your lips all nicely lined, now it's time to move on. Oh, I'm so excited about this. It's so glossy and just like, mmm. I'll show you. Oh, I'm just, it's like all about the lips to me. But now I'm just going to brush away the baking. And here is the finished look. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. And check the video description first just because I'll answer probably the basic things in there, like I'll link all the products. And I love you all, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Oh, and I'm on Snapchat now, by the way. I, I like, I'm doing Snapchat, so that's the thing. All right, <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye!